Good morning, Gamer Nation! Welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. And today, as you can tell by the music, we have a special treat for you. It's Star Wars Battlefront 2 The Beta. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I wasn't looking forward to this, especially after I played the first Battlefront game. I felt like I should have taken 60 bucks, wiped my ass, and flushed it down the toilet, because that's basically what the game was. Now, I already know that we don't have a campaign mode in this beta. Uh, they're saving it for later, so I have to worry it goes a little bit negative for me because we should have had a little bit of a campaign mode. But with that being said, let's get right to the review of Star Wars Battlefront 2 the beta. Sit back and enjoy, people. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started with Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta review, could you do me a small favor? Walk over, hit that like button with everything that you got, and while you're there, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Now, um, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I suck at flight sims, as you just saw, I crashed the damn ship on the first try. The controls felt awkward to me, and now that's not to say that they'll feel awkward to someone else, I'm sure they feel great to everybody else. I just suck at flight sims, I mean, that's just all there is to it. Um, but that's not a bad selling point to me, I mean, hell, I could practice and get good, and don't let it discourage you. Um, there's other things that will discourage you as far as getting this game, and we're going to get into those in just a minute. But the game looks very polished. Um, great graphics, um, gameplay was solid, um, dice really outdid themselves as far as lighting, shadows, uh, even on the ground game. Now I know that y'all are saying, well you're saying all this great stuff, what's the downside to it? Well the first minor issue that I had was there's no campaign in the beta form. And to me, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 1 did not have a campaign mode, it was a waste of money in my opinion. And yet, when you offer Battlefront 2 up and you say, well, we're not giving you a campaign mode in the beta, how in the hell are you supposed to sell the campaign to me? I mean, EA really screwed the pooch. They should have had the campaign in here, at least a little taste of it. Um, we had a female character playing the lead uh, for the Empire, connect um, episodes 6 and 7 together. I thought that was going to be an amazing setup. You could have had just a little taste of, you know, maybe even a prologue. You could have wrote a prologue in there to give us a little taste of what it was going to be like. Um, oh, by the way, as far as the ground game, I suck at that too. You can go ahead and say it. But, um, you know, the big major issue that I have with this game, the thing that's been blowing up Twitter, um, Facebook, and all the other social media sites is the loot crate system, or what's better known as the pay-to-win system. And with that being said... I'm not going to pay to win on any damn game. I don't care how good it is. I will most likely buy this game when it's in the bargain bin for like 5, 10, maybe even 15 bucks. I'll play the uh, campaign and I'll toss it to the side later. Or I'll wait for it to come out free games of gold. But other than that, you know, this is just not going to be my cup of tea. It might be yours. You might like that whole pay to win system. Multiplayer is really big right now. I'm more of a campaign type guy. And with that being said, you know... Um, let, let me know. What do you think in the comments there? Um, you know, do you like the pay-to-win system? Um, are you more of a campaign player versus multiplayer? Or are you kind of that balanced type deal? You want to have both? You know, let's hear your thoughts, people. Um, but, you know, I got to give this thing a rating. And to be perfectly honest, in beta form, it looks fantastic. And it had not been for the pay-to-win system, you know, just it by itself... I'd definitely given it, in the beta form, a 4 out of 5 stars. Now, I can't wholeheartedly endorse the product just due to the fact the pay-to-win system is there, and that just aggravates the hell out of me. Now, you know, like I say, pay-to-win might be your cup of tea. And if it is, I'm, you know, more power to you. But with that being said, you know, this is Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust, and I give this game, in the beta form, Four out of five stars, but will not endorse it just due to the fact that, you know, pay to win sucks ass. So, y'all, uh, I wish you happy gaming. Uh, we love you here at Xbox Beyond the Box. And, hey, I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all have a great day.